friends my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm going to show you some Eclipse shortcuts and this Eclipse shortcuts belong to the category is called run and debug so first we have a Eclipse shortcut press 11 to run a Java class and make sure that your Java class contains main method now after that we have a while debugging your code if you want to get Get, get into your function a step into your function then you need to press f5 if you want to debug your code line by line right then you need to press f6 uh, if you want to step out your function okay you can step into your function by pressing f5 and after that if you want to step out you don't want to go for uh, i mean debugging line by line then you want to step out then press f7 and finally if you want to skip some breakpoints right so if you debug your application then you put some debug points in your application on different classes right then if you want to skip some breakpoint then you need to press f8 so let's go ahead here is the eclipse and let's start with the first shortcut key so here i'm going to create a client program which is called test and in this here I'm not going to write so much code for this demo I'm going to write uh, hello world and you need to run this uh, program you need to press simply F11 and here we got the output so I hope you understood to run a Java class which contains main method simply you need to press f11 now let's go for the less four commands so these four commands basically we used while debugging the code so here i have a client program which is called client test and from this client i'm making call to the service method right here is service method and from service i'm making call to the dollar meter these two methods is defined in the dollar i'm making call over here so let's start with the first i'm putting some debug point in my client program as well so let's start with the step into a function right so what i would do uh, with the, we have a dollar i have a method with the and deposit so let's put some debug point in deposit now i'm going to start i right click on this project you will have to run from the class which contains main method so right click over here debug as java application now as i have given breakpoint over here so now so control will stay here and that will wait for your action so once you uh, try to run your application in debug mode then a pop-up comes and says that this kind of launch is configured to open the debug perspective when it is when it suspends say yes so that layout will be changed that is this layout is in debug mode now my first break break point is here so control is now waiting for my action so if you want to do debug line by line then press f6 as i told you if you want to debug line by line your code then press f6 so i'm going to press f6 see line by line and you can see the content of this variable over here right this you can put your cursor over here and you can see what this class has some instance variable and you can see the content of instance variable right account number with this so only I account number I have set it. The rest of the things are coming null. Now again you can see the content of this guy, right? <laughs> Sorry. Now again press F6. So I went to my service layer, right? Now from service layer, I'm making call to the this doll layer method, right? But I did not put any breakpoint over here, right? I did not breakpoint. I did not put breakpoint here. If I press F6, then entire method is going to escape, right? But but I want to, even though I did not put any breakpoint in this method, sorry. So you will have to move on the implementation. 
I did not put any breakpoint in this method. Still, I want to uh, get get into this method. So, so to do the same, you will have a command F5, a step into function. So now your control is over here. Now press F5. So when you say F5, then so I went into this withdraw method, right? Even though I did not put any breakpoint. Now again F5. Now you can do uh, line by line debugging f6 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 press f6 now again you come back now you want to step out from this function to step out you have a, a step out you have a you have to press f7 so press f7 and you came out from this function right now what else now what i want to do uh now if you press f6 then call will go to sorry call will go to deposit method right because in deposit method i have kept some breakpoint so press f6 so now deposit method now call has come because first line of deposit method was calling this method so my control is in deposit method now i have two breakpoint i have one breakpoint i want to skip these breakpoints right so to do the same you will have to press f8 right so i'm going to press f8 f8 again press f8 so we came out from the breakpoint again press f8 and finally we got we have executed entire code and we got the output something like this so i hope you guys understood uh, how what way we can use these shortcuts while debugging the code and running running the code so that's all i wanted to see you so in this video tutorial guys so so i recommend you to create a demo project and which contains some files and we will have I mean call hierarchy from one class to another class and you may do some practice so that you will have hands-on experience on these shortcuts. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video tutorial and see you in next video tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video.